Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 3 to Sims 4 series where we are recreating Sims 3 families and their homes in The Sims 4. So we are wrapping up the Sunset Valley families. Like we have, including this family, we have three, four, three or four more, I think. So yeah, wow, we're almost done. But don't worry, I have thought about it long and hard. Not really, I knew I was doing it because I love it so much. But I'm going to be recreating Sims from other neighborhoods and worlds in The Sims 3 as well. This is just the wrap of Sunset Valley. So anyways, today we are recreating the Hart family. And I love this family so much. I just thought that they had such a fun and unique story. So much fun to play. So yeah, their little family description says, B.B. Hart has a hard time as the only responsible person in the entire Hart lineage. It's no secret in the neighborhood that both of her parents are slightly insane, so B.B. feels that the neighbor's eyes have been scrutinizing her for ages, just waiting to see if she'll crack too. So, yeah, they're, I don't know, they're just a lot of fun if you ask me. I've always been a fan, always enjoyed them, but anyways, we recreated the father first, and his name is Gus. So, Gus Hart, his little family or not family, biography, there you go, <laughs> says, although Gus acts childishly and somewhat oddly, he is charismatic and very family-oriented. So, he has a part-time job as a produce quality accessor. He is married to Dory Hart, and he has a daughter named BB, obviously. And his personality is he is easily impressed, family-oriented, charismatic, childish, and insane. Um, he wants to be very super popular. That's his lifetime wish. Um, he actually has a mullet in The Sims 3, you know. And I tried to find a mullet custom content, but I could not find one. So I kind of had to make do. But I really wished I could have given him that staple iconic mullet that he has in The Sims 3. Because it's just really funny. But yeah, I did give him and Dory both like the dopey looking walk <laughs> that you can have in The Sims 4. I just thought it was so cute and so much fun um, to play with Sims. I never play with Sims who are erratic, which we don't have the insane trait anymore. They've changed it to erratic, which is basically the same thing. So yeah, he's childish, erratic, and I think I did make him family oriented or outgoing. Maybe it was outgoing. So yeah, and then his wife, Dory, her biography states that Dory doesn't seem to have goals. Her clothes don't match, and she seems to prefer odd hairstyles. She's friendly and enjoys company, but isn't always on the same page as everybody else. Some suspect she may have some mental issues. <laughs> um, and she has a part-time career, too. She is a cash register specialist in the um, bookstore in The Sims 3. And her personality, she is a loser, absent-minded, childish, insane, and over-emotional. And she also has the Lifetime Wish, super popular. And I think that the traits that I gave her were erratic, childish, and paranoid, which paranoid is the new trait that came with um, StrangerVille. So I want, she kind of has like, crazy like she's she's got some crazy traits which makes her like a very like just interesting sim to say the least <laughs> so I figured that paranoid would be a good trait as well since we don't have traits like loser or absent mild um, absent minded or over emotional in the sims 4 unfortunately um but yes, that is Dory, and I did use custom content teeth on her, which I thought made her look so adorable. I think she's so cute. <laughs> I really do. I think they're both so cute, but anyways, they have a daughter named Bibu, who was one of my favorite Sims in The Sims 3. I just, I admired her <laughs> for, you know, kind of taking care of her parents and just being the responsible one. Um, she was always a lot of fun to play with, and she's so beautiful, but her biography states that Bibi has had a hard time. As the only responsible person in the entire heart lineage, it's no, oh, this is the exact same biography that I stated for the whole family. So, yeah, all of her parents, everybody knows her parents are kind of crazy, and everybody's watching her to see if she's going to crack, too. 
she's in high school she's a b student she doesn't have a part-time career probably because she has to be home to take care of her parents they both have part-time careers so we do have some income coming in her personality is frugal bookworm technophobe and good um also hold on my computer is dying as i'm doing this voiceover so i need to plug it in like unprofessional but um not very prepared you know there we go <laughs> um so anyways yeah that is the heart family they're a lot of fun love them but now we are building their house and their house is so pretty it's described as a renovated victorian house with a very open floor concept plan. And when you see the screenshots, or if you've played The Sims 3, you probably recognize that um, the house looks a little yellow, maybe. I know in the screenshots, it looks a little yellow, but I went with like a cream color instead because it wasn't quite yellow but not quite like as light cream as I use. Does that make sense? You know, it, whatever, it looks good. I like how it turned out. Um, and yeah, I think it's really, really pretty. And I built it in Willow Creek because I felt like, you know, the Victorian style houses looked really nice here in Willow Creek, which, you know, since we got Strangerville, we have that whole new neighborhood where it's nothing but like surrounding Victorian houses, so I could have built it there, but I didn't imagine them living in like a desert So No, I, I decided to go with Willow Creek instead, but anyways, yeah, the house is really cute I think it turned out nice. It is two bedroom two bath and I did include my laundry rooms as I usually tend to try to do that <laughs> in all these builds um, so the laundry room is upstairs. I couldn't fit it downstairs. Like I could have put it in the downstairs bathroom, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to have its own separate room. And then when I got upstairs, I kind of realized that the upstairs is pretty freaking big, <laughs> like the hallway part. So I was able, it, it was either going to be like a huge bathroom upstairs because, um, the parents and BB share a bathroom upstairs, but I didn't, I just used that opportunity to make <laughs> a laundry room. And I don't really like laundry rooms being upstairs, um, but it's not that big of a deal. It looks good. It's, it, it works. They have a laundry room. <laughs> but anyways, um, their house has a lot of planter boxes on it. So I kind of um, struggled a little bit, as you'll see, with like the colors of them because I just I couldn't get them to match. I don't know. Look, I always do that. I always go to the galleries if I'm saving it to the gallery just to see what it looks like from the gallery point of view. Always do that. You see me do it all the time. Nothing new, but I do apologize. I did it a lot, a ton <laughs> with this bill because I just could not get it to look right from the outside. But I finally got the colors to pop and look perfect. Um, or at least I think it looks perfect. Not like perfect, but good. Um, so I ended up going with like the yellow plants, which kind of brought out the dark wood trimming of the house and the creamy um, siding, which I think looked really nice. So yeah, sorry, you're going to see that pop up a lot. Um, I forgot to edit it out. And at this point, oh well, we're just going to see it pop up because I'm indecisive and it's a struggle. So <laughs> sorry, but yeah. I do change those planter box colors to all yellow and their yard. This is not very big. And in the original house in The Sims 3, there is a driveway because, you know, we have cars in The Sims 3. And some of the houses that I build, I do include the garage or the driveway because it's kind of like a big part of the house and what makes the house look good and stand out. So, yeah, this was one of those houses that I kind of got away with not including the driveway. So... Thank goodness because I built it on this size lot right here, which isn't very big because the house isn't very big. The yard's not too big, so didn't want to build it like on a huge lot to have like a bunch of landscaping to do because don't like landscaping. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyways, yeah, they have a decent, nice little fenced in backyard with, I put the, the, um, oh my gosh, why do I forget what that thing is called? Um. 
goodness, where you dry your clothes. Not clothes hanger. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have freaking pregnancy brain. What is it called? It's going to bother me. Anyways, clothes pin, clothes line, something. Clothes line? I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. I put that out there in the back. I gave them a picnic table and a grill and just some potted plants out there. Nothing fancy, nothing special, but yeah, overall, I think it turned out pretty nice. Hope you guys like it. It's not too much, but you know, it works. Sometimes less is more. Does that make sense? More is less. Less is more. Y'all know. <laughs> I'm struggling. I'm struggling, in case you can't tell, but anyways, um, <laughs> you guys, I have been on a roll with my builds lately. And I'm I'm at a good place right now where I'm able to like build and do my voiceovers and upload and be consistent, but that may change. I may be having a job, don't know yet. <laughs> um, so I I do have to call back for an interview. I'm waiting to do that because like right now I don't have signal, so I can't even hold a call. So I gotta wait like the two hours until I leave here and have signal. The struggle. But anyways, um, my sister-in-law hooked me up. She works at a daycare, so I'll be getting some practice because I'm about to have my baby. <laughs> and also, it'll be, you know, a little bit of income coming in, and um, they're willing to work with me being pregnant and, you know, still help me out, get some money. So that's great. So if that's something that is available for me, even if it's just part-time, I'm going to take it and I'm going to run with it. So don't get used to this super consistent upload schedule. <laughs> it may change again. Sorry, but, you know, we're, we're just going with the flow here. <laughs> Anyways, on to the interior of the house and back to the build. <laughs> we are doing the kitchen, which, you guys, this house is different. Because it's, like, very open floor plan, but it has that wall in the middle kind of separating the two rooms the living and the kitchen dining area and I think it turned out so nice because I wasn't really sure how it was going to turn out because you know in the sims 3 they tend to uh, decorate and furnish oddly um, but I was able I was able to make it work and one thing that I was surprised about always kind of just like surprised me uh, when I would play with the Hart family in The Sims 3 is because the two parents are kind of like insane, um, you know, kind of crazy, not very stable, I would imagine that their house would be a train wreck, that there would just be like crazy mix max furniture, just nothing made sense in the house, but their house was decently decorated and it looked very good, so I kind of just did that as far as like decorating the inside. I wanted to um, make it look nice. I would imagine that maybe BB is the one that, I don't know, it cleans up around the house and decorates and tends to it. Um, personally, I don't very, okay, I don't know very much about mental illnesses. Um, I I don't know, there's so many and I don't want to say, oh, I think they have this mental illness or this one. Um, but I would think, this is just me and how I see them portrayed in the game. And just by the look of their house, um, I would think that it was something, maybe, not necessarily like a midlife crisis. I know a midlife crisis is not a, uh, <laughs> is not a mental uh, disability or anything like that. But, or mental illness. But maybe it's something that came with age. Um, it just it develops over time. It's not something they was born with. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I don't know. I, I'm not going to say, oh, I think it's one or the other because I'm not familiar with it. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I am. But I definitely see it something that has developed over time and it's just kind of getting worse. Um, and a lot of that reason is, like I said, to do with their house and the way it's kept up and decorated nicely. Um, and then also the fact that all the neighbors are kind of like waiting on BB to kind of snap too. Um, and I did read in Wiki or Sims Wiki that if you don't play her, you know, and she ages up, you have story progression on, that since both of her parents have the insane trait, she is always likely to inherit it as well. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's something 
that happens when she get older. See, you know, since she could possibly be inherit it too, if that makes sense, y'all. I don't know what I'm trying to talk about, but you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I don't know. I hope that she wouldn't. Um, I have faith in BB that, you know, like I said, I don't know if it's something that you like inherit. There's so many different mental illnesses, right? I mean, you can inherit one. You're just, your brain, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I sound ignorant because I don't know. I'd have to like look into it and study it. Um, I did take psychology, but that was like six years ago, seven years ago in high school. Wow, I feel old. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't remember too much about it. But then there's also um, things that can kind of trigger it, if you know what I'm saying. Um, or could make you snap. So, I don't know. I would hope that BB doesn't. Um, and that she can live, you know, just a healthy mental lifestyle. She can go to college and get married and have kids. And, um, you know, just kind of maintain her relationship with her parents. And I think that she... It's very important to her parents. I do believe that they are probably on medication, and she is probably responsible for giving them their medication. And like I said, just looking after them. And I do think that she has a really good relationship with her parents, despite um, their mental illness or whatever it is. But yeah, I really do like their house, though. I think it turned out really, really cute. Um, it's very, like, Victorian. Very Victorian. And... Um, I did use quite a few things when it comes from the Strangerville pack because we got that nice Victorian um, exterior build by mode stuff. So I definitely took advantage of that. I think it looked really nice. But yeah, I hope you guys like the house. Um, you know, as always, if you don't want to download the family, it's a nice house. If you want to download it, it would look perfect in Strangerville as well. Like I said, in the neighborhoods with the Victorian style houses would definitely look really nice there. But yeah, you guys, I am having so much fun with the series. And I think it's just because I'm getting so close to the end of Sunset Valley. I feel so accomplished. <laughs> and I'm just so proud of myself because I don't see a lot of like this series on YouTube. I, I don't, I mean, I've seen people every now and then like recreate a, a home or like the Sims from Sims 3 or something, but never have made it a series. Um, so I feel like that's something unique to my channel. And maybe I'm wrong, but if I am, I just haven't seen it yet. But. I don't know, I'm just having so much fun with it, and I, I can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> um, I am, I've got three more households to do. I have finished the Alvy family, which I fell in love with them. I never really played them, cared for them in The Sims 3, but they are the next um, household that we are going to recreate, so you'll see them. But I feel like, I fell in love with them. I love their house, I love their story. I love how I created them. I, I fell in love. And that's the problem. Um, I get very attached to these Sims. I'm just like, oh my god, I want to play them. Because The Sims 3, you know, we have these detailed storylines. And it just... I miss it so much. <laughs> and it just brings back the feel. So, yeah, I have three more to do. And I'm trying to do, like, different speed builds and apartment renovations and create a Sims in between. But all I want to do is just recreate The Sims 3 families and their houses. Um, and I did mention that I'm going to do another world, um, another neighborhood or whatever that came with The Sims 3. And I think what I'm going to do next is... Um, I was date debating between Riverview, since it's like a free world that we got, or, um, oh my god, what is it called? Twinbrook, yes, and I think I'm going to do Twinbrook um, first, just because I love those families so much. I, did, I do like um, Riverview as well, don't get me wrong, but... I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to go into The Sims 3 and look at the roles and try to figure it out. But if you have any suggestions, let me know. Definitely want to hear your feedback. But anyways, you guys, we are decorating BB's room. And I love her room. I think that it's probably my favorite teenage room that I've ever done so far. Like, ever. <laughs> and, um, which is weird because I, I went around the whole, like, Victorian and old-timey vibe as far as, like, the... Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, like indigestion. <laughs> the wallpaper and the bed and everything, but I love the color scheme, and obviously the room's very big, so I had a lot of space to do a lot, and um, I love the little couch there with the pillows and the bay window. I kind of toyed around, um, but it's not the right size to put like an actual bay window, which 
sucks. I love that little base seating. Um, and if I was to like make the wall smaller to fit the little base seating in that window right there, it would kind of just mess up the rest of the house. So I just put the couch there and the pillow, but I think it looked really nice. I love her little desk area. It's so cluttered. Her room just has a ton of personality and I see her, you know, just spending a lot of time in her room because it's kind of her getaway from real life, having to take care of her parents and, you know, all that burden on her. I can imagine that it's really hard, really, honestly. And I just gave her this nice little makeup area over here, you know, where she can get ready and everything. I think she turned out so beautiful, by the way. I don't think I mentioned it, but her hair in The Sims 3 is actually more of like a blonde color, but I made it, um, a brown instead because she just kind of like inherited the color that I gave Gus and I just kept it that way and I did give her the dread so obviously she is mixed uh she's beautiful and I think mixed race <laughs> races men and women are so beautiful I'm telling you I like I'm jealous that make the prettiest babies <laughs> but anyways yeah I think she's gorgeous and her hair like I said when I was doing the little screenshot compare compare the two I was like oops her hair is supposed to be a little bit lighter but it's not that big of a deal because you know in the sims 3 we was able to do like the highlights and you know, make the hair different colors and make it stand out a little bit different. And, you know, we just had a little bit more variety and options, which we don't really have in The Sims 4. But it's okay. Not going to complain too much about it. <laughs> but anyways, on to Gus and Dory's room. Their room is still very nice for them to be a little bit, you know, crazy. Um, but I did give um, them like a little seating area right there in their little bay window area looking you know, right there, uh-huh. <laughs> I gave them two little chairs, and I put, like, a little long end table in the middle, and I did fill it up with a bunch of, like, crazy, like, collectible items. Maybe Dory likes to collect stuff and, you know, maybe hoard stuff, but BB's like, Mom, no, we're not doing this. We're not. I just... <laughs> We, they owe a lot to BB, kind of just keeping them sane or whatever. But, yeah, I gave them that little plant that you can trim. I don't know why. I just figured it would be, like, kind of like a random activity to do. I don't even know if you can get to it from where they are. I'll have to, you know, play test this house. But I gave them, like, a little fish tank and everything, a box of just clutter and whatnot. And um, I did give them a desk area and a computer. It's like an older computer um, just so they would have something to do because technically they do have part-time jobs which <sighs> another thing that I would really love to see in The Sims 4 is the option for everybody to have part-time jobs not just teenagers I miss that so much from The Sims 3 because maybe you want to you know stay home with your kids the majority of the day or you just you not everybody has like a career full-time career and that's okay so I think that's something that we definitely need and I know you can do it with mods but it's just I don't like to put a bunch of career mods into my game because it tends to like corrupt or something when the game updates because usually it's a script mod so yeah I'd appreciate it if we you know just kind of got um that in a free update or something I mean I would even buy I would buy a career pack I really would, and there'd be no shame in it, <laughs> because it's something that I want so bad, but anyways, their bathroom upstairs is quite spacious, and there was a door leading into it um, from Dory and Gus's room, but I ended up deleting that door, um, so just because, you know, they'd have more space for their counters and everything, so yeah, it's very nice spacious, they share it, and then like I said, I did make the hallway a little bit more you know, smaller because it was quite big and intimidating. And y'all know I hate hallways and upper landings where the stairs are. So I made them a laundry room up there. But yeah, this build is wrapping up. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Um, it's available for download on the gallery. And so is the family. So be sure to follow me on there and check it out. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Love y'all. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.